Hello my friends, Paul here in the Rojobi Music Workshop and welcome to part 7 of the Banjolele Build Project. So in the previous episode uh, you saw me put in the, the, the band around the, the body um, and I've, I've continued uh, painting the necks, I'll show you this one that's not on the instrument. Uh, and it's, it's ended up coming up rather good. Now that I figured out what I was doing wrong with my airbrush kit, uh, managed to get those finished. Um, they'll still need f uh, final sanding and uh, oiling, but not doing that at this stage. So what I'm doing right now is um, the setup, um, i.e. string action, the, the height of the action above the, the fretboard. So, let me just turn the camera around, angle down, and probably zoom in a bit, not too much. Let's see. Okay. Right, okay. So, so I've got this, this one kind of temporarily put together. I've got, got the neck on and the uh, tailpiece. Temporarily, got the bridge in, two strings on, um, got two tuners in temporarily, uh, and the nut as well. So, uh, what I'm doing now is uh, adjusting the nut and the bridge for string height. So, it, also I bent this bracket up a little bit so you can see the brake angle isn't as bad. But once I've lowered that bridge a bit, I, I may need to lower that down again. But that, that's easy enough. So, obviously I want to get the, the strings at the right height above the fretboard. And the nut is high and the bridge is high. Now, it's sometimes it can be difficult to work out which one to do first. Because if you, if you get one, you know, let's say for example the nut, you get that down to the right level, then you lower the bridge, you may end up with it too low at the nuts. So you've got to kind of, you know, go backwards and forwards a little bit. Um, but I think, uh, I think I'm going to start with the nut because I, I know that needs to, needs to go down quite a way. Um, so the, the string action above the first fret should be very, very small. So I haven't got the, the, the nut actually attached in, it's just, you know, under the strings. So I'm just going to take the strings off, take the nut out, and uh, try and get the strings out of the way of it, because what I need to do is, um, is basically uh, lower this platform where the nut goes, rather than cutting the nut. And I need to do that with a chisel. So. Let me see if I can get those strings out, out of the way. Uh, what can I use? Try for that. Should be alright. No, that's not going to work. Okay, let me try something else. Piece of string here somewhere. <laughs> Is it? I don't really want to have to keep taking the strings off to do this because it's such a faff. Uh, that one there. One around there. Hmm. There, move that out of the way. It's kind of the same on the other side. Good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'll take my five mil chisel. 
and just start to cut carefully cut that platform down a bit. Making sure I keep it level forwards and backwards and side to side, which can be a little bit tricky, but just do a little bit at a time, not to go too mad. But as I said, it's, it is important to keep it level both ways. Well, it's not going down a way yet, but it's, it's I'm just making sure that it's staying level at the same time. Starting to look right. So that one should be right. Okay, I think that's probably about right. I just want to tidy up this back edge. Let me just put the strings back on that, see how that looks now. Looks like it's pretty close. Yeah, that's pretty close right now, so I don't want to do any more on that just now. But if you can see much less in there now. So now I'll turn my attention to the uh, bridge. So first of all, I'll just measure the height above the 12th fret with my gauge. So I'm looking for around about two millimeters and at the moment it's near a three. Probably a bit more than a three actually. So I've got to take quite, quite a bit down off of this uh, bridge saddle. Now I've already taken some off the, the bottom but what I need to do now is, is deepen the slots in here. And then when, once I'm happy with the depth of those, I can then cut the top of this off. There's no point cutting the top of this off first because I'll lose my slots and won't know where they're supposed to be. So I've got uh, some of my um, nut slotting files ready. And um, going by the, the gauges on the packet of strings, I can kind of work out which ones uh, I need to use. So these are the two outer strings, which are uh, 24 thousandths and 25 thousandths of an inch. So I'm going to start with 28 thousandths, first of all. So I need to take these slots down quite a bit, actually. Okay, that's a good start. And obviously I need to make sure they're all at the same level once I've done all of them.
Okay, let's try that to start with. Looking better already, but still a way to go. <coughs> yeah, long way to go yet. Okay, take a bit more out of those. Okay, let's try that now. Okay, so we're down to about two seven five, so they still got to go a little bit more, yeah. Getting close. Just over 2.5, so it's quite a lengthy process. Let me just check that against the other one that I've already done. It could be a lot lower. Just check that again one more time. Yeah, still a way to go yet. see how level that is. Oh, it's looking pretty good. Still a ways to go yet. Okay, let's that. Um, before I go any further, I'm just going to uh, check the intonation to make sure that the bridge is in the right location. Because that's obviously going to affect the action a little bit. So, just get my tuner. Okay. So, I tune them to about C. sharp, way too sharp, so let's bring that right back there, bit better. Okay, that's quite close that, so let me just measure the action from there.
down to about 2.25. Uh, I'm going to leave it there for now. That's pretty good. I can always um, adjust more later. So what I need to do now is cut, cut the other two slots uh, to the same depth and then, now well you can see that, maybe not at all. Uh, so I've got the two outer slots there we go. cut to more or less the depth where I need. So I now need to cut the inner two to match the depth of those. Um, so for those strings, um, for the, the base string, uh, that's a 37, so I'm going to use a 42 for that. We want it slightly bigger than the, it's the string itself to make sure that it actually moves in the slot rather than getting bound up. So I can do some final tuning once I, you know, put the thing together for the last time. But I want to get in the ballpark right now. Way to go on that one. Also, I won't know if these uh, are the right thickness as well until I get all the strings on. But like I said, the final tweaking will be done once I've you know got them to the final build stage. In and that, almost there. Little tiny bit more. Okay, I'll leave that at that for now. Uh, and then the second string is a 31 gauge, so I'm going to use the 36 for that one. Right one there. That's the other two. Six. Okay. Tiny bit more. Okay, so uh, that looks about right. I'll just try that other string in there, see how that drops down. Okay, that's looking about right for now. Close enough at this stage. So, once again, you can see that the slots are cut quite deep in that. So I now need to shave off the top, the top of this so that there's just basically a dimple for each one because you want the string to basically rest on top of it, not sit down inside a slot. So that's the next stage. I'm not going to film that because I'm just sort of taking it to the spindle sander and just taking off the, the top edge of that a bit. And um, in the next video, which might well be the last video, um, I'm going to be putting these things together because I'm going to do the sanding and the, and the oiling off camera. See, we do that once or twice before. 
Um, so I'm going to do that off camera. Do do you know just get this uh, top of this bridge down as well off camera. Um, and then in the next episode, hopefully, it will be a uh, final build and see what the things sound like. And then after that, I'll obviously do some just final tweaking to get everything perfect. But it's going to be 95% there as it is at the moment. So you know, I'm quite, quite happy the way things have gone. So uh, yeah, as I said, next one possibly be the last video of this, this project when I'm putting them together and seeing what they sound like. And they look great, by the way. <laughs> okay, so I uh, hope you're enjoying watching these videos and these uh, projects. If you are, please give a thumbs up, leave a comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all the good stuff. And <coughs> we will see you in the next one. In the meantime, look after yourselves, look after each other. Peace out.